Hey everyone and welcome back. So I often get the question, how do I pick a typeface for my project? And that's a very good question. I mean, we always face this dilemma when starting a project that doesn't necessarily have a typeface chosen. Sometimes a client will come to you with an established brand guideline with established typeface guidelines and you know sometimes they're okay and that's an optimal scenario sometimes they aren't necessarily optimized for web sometimes the typefaces don't have enough variance and they really stop you from creating enough contrast on the screen and you know they may not be good for mobile and whatever type of application or product you're trying to build that does happen and I feel like sometimes you just need to sit down with your client and have a real good discussion on what you can do to like extend that type family or extend that type system. Another scenario is often people come to you with just one typeface and it happens often. Sometimes that typeface is very good. It has a lot of styles and it just doesn't suit the tone of their product or their company or their organization. So let's come up with a little, little fake organization over here. So so if we call something like the Phillips Foundation. So I did have a client come up to me one time and you know they were a charity and we were building a new website for them. And their font was Montserrat. Don't get me wrong, I love this font, but to be your only typeface, I mean, even if the font family is huge, let's take a look at this so many different styles it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to suit what you're trying to achieve so let's just we're going to create a quick logo over here so i'll use similar colors to their brand they have this like yellow like that and uh, like a teal so we'll just grab like a teal over here. Okay. Cool. So this is their logo. Looks cool, right? Not really. I mean, it's quick, but okay. So we have the logo for them and we noticed that, okay, their type system isn't necessarily the best. They may have like a headline they may have some body copy. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to my plugins and grab lower mipsum. We'll do this really quick. So we have one paragraph. That is huge. So we're just gonna go down in size, just select 16. And uh, we are going to go to regular and make sure the line height is around 150%. So, you know, they may have a headline like that. They may have like other types of things like a button. So let's just create a quick button. We're gonna make that a frame. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to auto layout. And we're, gonna, we're doing this really quickly just so I can show you what this kind of looks like. So a 48 pixel button in height is good. So you can see the frame over there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it a border radius of five pixels. Still can't see anything. The selection colors is the text. So I'm gonna change that to white and I'm going to turn this on the fill and make it black. And we can even like use, we can use the color. We can make it a little darker. And let's make that typeface bold, oh, too bold. Okay, so you know, you may get like something like this and for like a foundation that wants to, you know, really evoke a sense of like tradition, I mean, something like this is just, it's a good font, but it's just not enough. So what I usually do is the first step is to kind of break this out a bit. So I start thinking, okay, the headline can be like, what can you do to help? So maybe this is like a section on their website. And I, I think like, you know, maybe that's one of the main like titles and I may bump that up a bit to like 40 pixels. And then I may have like a sub headline and I could be like charity or donations. 
I may keep that in all caps. What I'm trying to do here is create a lot more variance in the types of like headlines we have, body copy, just to see if there's enough variance in here that would actually like match the tone of the brand. So what I'll do here is I'll just create a little bit more letter spacing. I may bump this down to like 24 pixels. You know, start matching the brand colors, maybe using those a little bit more could help. And you know, they can, they definitely can. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna keep on extending this out because we're gonna, we're gonna work here. So we have learn more button. Stop moving, there we go. I may grab like a pullout quote. You know, maybe this is like a medium italic and this can be like bumped up to like 24 pixels. It's all about experimentation in the end. You, you really want to kind of have fun with it. Try to figure out like different ways you can create a little bit more visual interest. You know, that's starting to work and it's not looking too bad at all, but I don't think it's enough at this point. Right now, what I would do is I would go kind of searching for different fonts. And when I think about charities and when I think about different types of organizations that have been around for so long, I start thinking about like the different types of typefaces that would really, you know, capture that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna start thinking about maybe some serif typefaces. So one serif typeface that I like a lot is called uh, Palatino. So I may grab like a serif typeface like that. And all of a sudden, you know, it starts to have a little bit of a different feel. Maybe something else. Let's search for it. Uh, all the way, Allegra is a really nice one, uh, a really nice Google font. So we're just gonna search all the way up, all the way up. What do we got here? We're getting closer. Okay, there it is. So like this is nice and you know, it's it's a little bit modern, which is totally fine, 100%. Maybe that's not enough uh, line height. But the goal here is to start creating a little bit more of contrast, but also introducing another type pairing that could work really well with something like Montserrat. I think this is still fine. Like we could even bump that down just a bit. Over here, we can also like apply that, that, uh, that typeface. Like, look at that. And all of a sudden, like we start thinking about, okay, this, now looks like an organization that has more history, uh, organization that's much more traditional, you know, not too traditional, it still has some like modern elements to it. So when I approach like type pairings like that, I'm really thinking about the brand. I'm always going back to that and like the utility of the typeface and how they work together. Is there enough visual contrast here? Another test I like to do is I like to use the squint test, I call it. So I'll just squint very, very hard and I'll look and I'll start uh, seeing if, you know, if everything starts to blur together and then make adjustments based off of that. So over here, we kind of start to build a little bit of a type system. We start to see that, okay, this may be like our body copy. This may be like our sub headlines, our main headlines. This will be like a quote, our button text. And you just keep going based off of what you know, based off of the wireframes you created, based off of the, like the sitemap that you created and all the different type of uh, like content that you believe will be on the product that you're creating. So that's one way to handle a scenario where, you know, a client comes to you and they may only have one typeface to work with. We went from something like this to something like this fairly quickly and I think if we were going for a sense of tradition, if we were going for um, to match that uh, the tone of the brand and what they stand for, then you know something like this probably works a bit better. When you come into that scenario, remember to just talk with your client, explore all your options, like you know go through go through the process of building, trying to work with what they have, and to see if that typeface can work. Is it versatile? Does it match the tone of the brand? And then you know, explore beyond. 
you know, maybe this isn't the right font for here. Maybe it's like a medium, maybe it's a different font altogether. Those are the types of things that you can do to, to really help your clients out in terms of picking typefaces for them.